G'day Andrew, I'll take any real business network. Uh, this was a, a Zoom introduction to digital business. I just uh, was running through a number of items uh, and I'll just uh, quickly uh, go through a number of share screen items. This is our website. Um, it's a run of the mill website um, using WordPress that we've modified for ourselves. Our own graphics with our own plugins, with our own scripting. And we learned that through uh, the Digital Business Lounge part of Six Figure Mentors Network. Now, Anywhere Business Network uh, website integrates into Facebook and it integrates into our um, blogging platform. So, for example, the digital bloggers articles, which you may be familiar with on Facebook, are also shared to our website and they run through in that fashion. Uh, our um, reading list, which you may have seen for sale on Facebook, actually resides on our website. Our digital business is integrated with website and by Facebook. We of course uh, have got Instagram and YouTube, and YouTube is integrated into our website by way of a series of uh, videos. I'm going to give you uh, 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 a recent video I did on strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, threats, or SWOT analysis. Uh, and if you have a watch of that, you can see what the opportunities for you that may lie within digital business. G'day, I'm Andrew Elkett from the Anywhere Business Network. Today I'm going to go to the part of business planning. Uh, particularly, I'm going to look at the SWOT analysis. You might have heard of it, you might have heard of it. But I'm going to give you a different take, perhaps. Yeah, the SWOT analysis is for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Yeah. Your strengths are things that you can do. You need to analyse your strengths. You might have a strength in time management skills. You might have a strength in organisation. You can gain those from all sorts of things. If you've got a family, for example, time management is an essential item. Whether you can get those kids to school, or whether you can pick them up and place them, or you can take them to kindergarten, they're all part of time management. Even how fast you can get around the supermarket when you've got kids and they're screaming at you, and they want stuff at that. Keep your eye on just before the checkout. Those are all strengths that you can note down that you have. The next one is in the business environment where you're working in. What are your strengths within that business environment? Write them down. The next thing to focus on is weaknesses. Where you're not good at. You have to buy in those sort of things. Or you can overcome those weaknesses through things like education. The next one is opportunities. Well, those are things to exploit. Those are things that you can make money out of for your point of difference, the point of different thing, the way you stand out from the rest of your crowd. The next one is threats. The competition might be a threat, but you need to study the competition to find out what they do right and what they do wrong, because it gives you an opportunity to exploit their weaknesses for your gain. Now let's focus on weaknesses. I reckon that weaknesses are always opportunities. You know they're opportunities because they can lead to you to new learning opportunities. And those learning opportunities will allow you to overcome weakness. Now you might say, well, you can't overcome those weaknesses. Before you have to buy in those particular items at a cost. Now, sometimes it's, it's only fear or genuine courage to try and do something about it. At least look at the learning possibilities. If you look at those learning opportunities, you might be able to overcome that weakness. The next one is the threats part of it the competition. You know, you've studied why they do well, what they don't. But that leads you to your point of difference. And that point of difference is essential in the business planning that you're trying to achieve. 
You know, this has only been a brief introduction to strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. But I'm sure you can work through those items. Have a look at the uh, questionnaire that we have, and it's available on our website. If you sign up as part of the um, digital kickstart series. Till next time. Okay, so that's an example of uh, utilising uh, YouTube uh, and integrating it into the website and hence into um, Facebook because it's through our digital bloggers articles. So that SWOT analysis has appeared a number of times and it's been repurposed. We have our newsletters there uh, and our blog. So there's a number of items in there which are fundamental. So our backbone of our digital business is our, face, our uh, website. And from that, other things span out. If we look at our, uh, our Facebook site and we look at uh, anywhere business network, uh, we can look to see uh, what our uh, particular page looks like. You may not have seen a page like this, but this is what a business page looks like. And I just boosted a post a few minutes ago, and I'll just give you an insight into how the, the boosted post works. So I'll just scroll down to the post that we posted, which was about reading list. So if we have a look there, there's since I posted it 10 minutes ago, there's 23 people have looked at it. And let's have a look at the type of post that we did and have a look at the audience we, that we operated in. This advert was targeted at women between the ages of 18 and 65 who live in 12 locations in uh, New Zealand, uh, Bay of Plenty, Canterbury, Hawke's Bay, Manawatu, uh, Wanganui, Marlborough Region, Nelson, Nelson Province, Otago, Southland, uh, Taranaki, uh, Waikato, uh, Northland, Monica Region, and the West Coast. Um, the interest with, uh, as I said, gender was female, and people who match the, um, the particular activities like marketing, entrepreneurship, management, or they're into software. And it was a $28 budget uh, for seven days. Now, the approximate market boost with that was going to be 6,300 people. 6,300 people were going to be able to see their ad for $28. And they were going to be people that I targeted. Try and do that with the newspaper to try and get the coverage that we um, took through that. Now, um, I get notified when people join and uh, gives us an idea of what's happening with that. Um, our messages, publishing tools. We'll be have a look at insights and we have a look at what how our posts have been going. If we have a look at the last 28 days, we see we've reached 11,000 people. Our videos have had 3,800 dollars. 3,800 views and our page views uh, have been around 89 the last four days or so. Post engagement 659 people have been engaged. I did that for about $35. Normally if I would have spent 105 I would have got these figures up to about 1,800. Once again it's all about the message that you're sending out. Now, we monetized our, our Facebook site by putting in a shop. And the shop where we talked about being on our website is actually duplicated. Well, not duplicated, but it's actually appearing here. So if I um, go into the shop where it says shop there, it goes straight back to my website to purchase it. If, for example, we want a digital kickstart consultation, it goes straight back to our website to purchase 
particular product. And then from there, you can get by adding to the basket, you can get the description or look at the product description, one hour consultation and a testimonial from one of our clients. So that gives you more idea on how to um, do the digital kickstart. But it also gives you an idea of how to monetize your Facebook site by having a shop. And us, we're consultants, so we're charging our time out. Uh, we also uh, digitized one of the uh, webinars, so you can see a recording of it, and you can pay for the recording, and we would allow you access to that recording. Uh, for a, a fortnight, so that works out as well. That's how we monetize our Facebook site. Uh, we also have got links back to our web page, uh, which uh, would allow you to, uh, of course, look at the learning systems which we have. And I'll just go over the learning systems. Uh, I may refer to them in uh, my uh, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, threats video. If we just go to Anywhere Business Network, and we find um, the Six Figures Mentors is uh, learning systems we operate, uh, and those learning systems we've gone through, and that's how we've managed to put together uh, the integration of uh, YouTube, the integration of Facebook, the integration of our website to turn it into a monetized platform. All right, this has probably raised a lot of questions for you. And, you've got any, and if you've got any questions, what I suggest you to do is to uh, just ask me on Facebook and uh, ask me the questions and I'll see if I can help you. If there's a paid solution, there's a paid solution. I might be able to answer your question uh, unpaid and I'll just see what the nature of the question is. Have a look at the Six Bigger Mentors website, learning opportunities there, and uh, yeah, happy digital business. And remember, we're here to help, help you. The digital kickstart system will get you around social media and allow you to master uh, the social media systems to monetize them to make money. All right. Thanks very much. See ya.